HSX? What do you mean? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another Dead by Daylight video on this channel. We are using Dracula or the Dark Lord from Castlevania um, on this on this fine day today. We're showcasing a little video here utilizing um, some of the perks that Dracula does come with. Uh, one is obviously to block the uh, totems um, and the other one is to give the obsession a 33... Uh, percent decrease repair speed um, when the first gen is completed now first and foremost we're trying to go ahead and chase the Allen here and this is post commentary style I wanted to break down a few things to showcase you guys like a full match this is like the full video is going to be the full match of this Dracula match showcasing this build that I put together um, the add-ons are both bat form uh add-ons one for the teleportation speed which i think i think it was like wings like the the uh boots of speed or the boots of uh of flight or whatever the heck that thing is called and then the other add-on to make your teleport uh further so you can teleport from farther away um 25 percent to be exact so we put those on and then now we're obviously utilizing a couple of totems here trying to um, buy as much time, uh, much slow down as you can with the totems, um, and obviously like with the whole eight seconds of blocking, um, I had tried to go, go for like a hug tech there. I think I kind of missed time. I kind of missed it though, but we were able to clear the pallet, and uh, ultimately here we start charging the pounds because you know that it's coming, and then we go ahead and get the down. Now, this video will be really good for those of you who are maybe beginners to DVD or maybe at the intermediate level um, or even getting into the high level. Or if you're in the high level, this may be familiar to you. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever have you. So, off the bat, we lose a full gen and we're almost about to lose another if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're just clearing out the wall in the meantime, just giving us a little more time to work with. We lose two gens for a single down, pretty much standard. Um, and we also have the totem activating uh, both the plaything and the uh, the other totem as well. For the um, I forget the name of the perk, but I know what I know what it does. Now we get a hit on Ace. We got a hit on Jane. We're just trying to rotate back over for the save so we can continue to apply a little bit of split pressure here. I figure what I can do is just leave him be so he can try to cleanse, and then we go for the hit on Vittorio, which we actually got it. So. Um, one of the things that you guys may be familiar with if you play Pyramid Head is definitely going to deal with certain tiles that you will want to utilize the Hellfire on. Now, what I will say is that Hellfire can only pass through low height um, obstacles. So Pyramid Head can go through walls, but, but Dracula's Hellfire can only go uh, through um, about waist height to Dracula, about waist height. So... Um, the tiles that you see me use the Hellfire on are pretty good examples of what to look for. Windows, stuff like that. Um, that kind of height, you can definitely hit through that. Now, we're at the 2 gen mark with only 2 hooks. It really kind of goes to show you, like, gens can be very, very fast. Um, even at, like, pretty much at any level. But I would say because I'm playing at this particular, like, more of a higher level, you could argue. Or you could say... Um, it can be a little bit more challenging than, than, than what you would probably expect. Now, that right there was a good use of the Hellfire. Um, and I am going ahead and spreading the playthings. We're still kind of focusing on placing down as many of the playthings as possible. So we can then utilize uh, more of the totems being destroyed. Which is at also slow down, but also allows for plaything um, to... Uh, you know, not only get used, but then that's when Pentimento can then shine through. Now, ultimately here, as you can see, like, we're just trying to, you know, kind of figure out, like, what gen are they looking for, really trying to get footing here, as we did lose a lot of gens at a very rapid rate before we can really get set up here. Now, we're just kind of taking a look around, because I had to assume that they would want to be on this totem in particular, um, and also that gen seemed to be tapped, but we are now having to go ahead and use, and this is where the bad add-on kicks in. We can just quickly teleport to the pallet, um, and start to make our rotating our way around towards the, uh, the hook there. 
And uh, now we can see that the, even the Shag Gen is quite literally almost done. We go for the regular hit on the Ace to conserve our, our uh, dash attack. Um, what, I would, what I decided on doing was kind of taking a look around, just trying to give the Gen a kick to at least buy a little more time so that there's uh, just a bit more time in the match because we are going to end up losing that Gen anyway. Um, but just a couple more seconds could really be the difference. Now we did teleport a little bit off, like a little bit off there, which was fine. They did end up cleansing the totem. That totem, I believe, uh, must have been the uh, the the one with the obsession, which was a bit unfortunate. I think um, it. I so, I don't know if it had somehow got shifted or whatever have you. Now here, I probably should have fired the hellfire. I probably could have gotten uh, a hit there. That I will say, I could have uh, done better there. But overall, I'm, I'm showcasing the whole gameplay, just so you guys can see it in real time. Um, how fast the gens were, what, what kind of play I was going for, what kind of mistakes I've made. Um, to sort of utilize it as an educational commentary for you guys. To sort of learn a little bit more about Dracula, a little bit more about the game in general. Um, especially if you are trying to get a bit better at the game. Now, we got the Hellfire right there. We just kind of figured we'd go for it just to see what we can kind of do there. We were figured we, we figured we could get the hit. So now we're utilizing some Shack Mind Games. You definitely were able to do quite well there. Um, definitely hiding the Red Stain. And we had allowed us to get the down there um, pretty well. Now, Hellfire is a pretty good threat in general because they're not going to want to go for something that involves like, like committing to an animation at a low point such as a pallet vault or a window vault so they may fake it's a little bit sort of like familiar to me as a pyramid head main um and uh i'm very i would say i'm almost on the on i think i'm at p61 currently at the recording of this audio for these for this video um and uh, you may see that on the stream one day you know might play a little more pyramid head have a little bit of fun. So we're going ahead and lighting up yet another Pentimento, trying to hold on to the 30%, and yet another play thing is now deactivated. And we are at the one gen mark with four people alive. And we're going ahead and seeing what we can accomplish. Now, what we're doing here is now we're just trying to get a hit on Ace, kind of rotate around to where the hook is at, kind of keep an eye on where everyone is. Um, I don't want to overextend over to Shaq, so that's why I wanted, we want to stay on Ace for now, because he's injured, he's near the, the, the uh, gens that we want. We're, we're utilizing a mind game at the TNL there, because he's turning around that area, we're going to go ahead and, and back up, and then turn around to the right-hand side of myself, where I was standing to catch him there. He didn't really expect that to happen. We got another plaything active, um, which gives us a really good advantage. Um, we also have another totem active all the way over there we can use um, for yet another plaything, but we're mainly holding on to the 30% repair speed um, decrease as much as we can because that's the only slowdown that we do have right now. Now, Ace didn't really realize I was rolling up, but I figured I would have to go for somebody like Jane um, because of the fact that uh, I don't really want to have to deal with the endurance as well as the fact that He's, it's his first hook, so it wouldn't be worth over, over committing to it. Now, there is at least like another totem or so that was like active still. Um, I wasn't too sure what was going on there. Um, I figured that that the we would just kind of kind of just look around a bit. This is kind of the slow, like a bit of a like a slow point of the match, where we are just trying to kind of get footing, kind of figure out where what's their plan, what are they trying to do. Um, and then we also want to make sure we double check the gens just to make sure that they are uh, being regressing in the meantime to buy more time. Um, and then from here we, we switch over to the wolf form so we can start going after Vittorio. Now, wolf form is a very solid anti looping option. If you can master the wolf form, it will give you a lot. It will reward you. Um, it's a, it feels a little bit like Wesker um, and Demogorgon at the same time. And as you can see, the pallet break is a lot faster than, than normal. Um, pallet breaking, obviously, utilizing the wolf form, which is very good. Um, I don't usually like to do it because it does use up your charge for the pounce, but either way, it is still a better option because of the fact that you were able to um, just quickly get rid of the resource despite that. 
went for the dash attack probably didn't need to do that it was just more so for the points i guess and just to flex but not for any particular reason uh i but i also had believed it was because i think there was a window close by so i wanted to be able to preemptively be ready for it she was trying to wait on a check spot and kind of gets down for it um which is quite good and then now we uh vault over quickly try to um get the down get the hook in between the gens that we want to defend holding on to our three gen there is a gen on my left side that is about to fly so we start using our hellfire because judging by the angle as you saw there it does end up hitting both of them alan does try to greed the generator and then that's when we go ahead and give it a break and now we can go ahead and hook somebody else um within our range here which we go back over there to pressure them to move away from the hook um and then we can just go ahead and place them there so second hook for alan um we see ace rolling that way we might be able to kind of push him a bit but we want to hold on to this gen so that's why we're kind of keeping an eye out we know jane is all the way over there waiting to push in for the generator and what we decide to do what i decided to do is just break this pallet i mean pick pallet the wall you want to break the wall you want to be able to have the options to do so and uh ultimately this is what we're trying to do is keep an eye on you know who's closing in who's not like trying to keep an sort of an eye out as to um who's closing in for it so now we're going after jane because i figure wait a minute they might be on death hook if i'm not mistaken it'll also have to pull them another person off of a generator to come for the save it might potentially also eliminate a survivor um because we've been hooking a lot so you know you just kind of have to keep in keep a mental note usually as to who's been hooked before um, and try to get cl uh, more survivors who have been hooked closer to that point. Went with the wolf form, so in case there is like a scent orb somewhere, can easily point out where they're going to go, which is a quite a useful tool. Um, we also still have a plaything active. There's about three totems options still available. Um, potentially, what you could do also is, is actually attempt to go for um, a second or third totem uh to like kind of slow down her healing or also get them off of the gens to look for um the totem probably should have went for the totem uh initially i had forgotten if heal speed was the next one in line um but if it was then it probably would be smart to had gone for um the second totem option but while they were healing now we're going ahead and breaking the the gen again which was kind of unnecessary um, I probably could have saved my kick, but then we teleport over to the gen with the main amount of progress. Um, we notice that it's still regressing, and then now we also know that where the ace is, they just cleanse another random totem. So we just go ahead and hit the ace. Now we have yet another totem active, ready to go. Um, and uh, it seems like there's at least um, about maybe two or three totems still available that we can use. Um, maybe four. Um, unfortunately, we may not have been able to get the five stack of Pentimento, but I don't even really think there was enough time to do so. Um, but what I did was I was I at least reactivated a couple of them to kind of just you know slow them down even more. Maybe they'll want to go for the uh, the totems. The main gen with the most amount of progress is regressing, so we pushed them off, and then we run back over um, or teleport back over to um, the gen that we're looking for. So now we see the Vittorios kind of running around. We want to go ahead and break this gen because you know that this one is the next one that's in line. Um, we want to focus on Vittorio as he's the one that was close by. We want to also go ahead and utilize the Hellfire this time. I had, re I had remembered uh, since the last time. And uh, they're going for the TNL here. So then we notice they might be pushing that gen. So we switch over to that generator. Um, we give it a kick as well. So you can see two gens are 99 um, the Pentimento stack is certainly putting in work. That 30% is really giving us everything we need. Unfortunately, we were not able um, to get the other hex uh, value from the Dracula perk. But at least we were able to, uh, to utilize um, what we could here. We go ahead and break this gen again. Um, and then ultimately, what we should be doing is looking around, kind of trying to catch an eye as to um, where the survivors could be lurking. Now, 30% in some matches may seem like not seem like much, but thankfully in this in this particular match, we were able to fully utilize it. 
Um, we also decided to start checking around. We noticed that there was a couple people injured, so I believe that the um, slower heel speed is definitely uh, helping us quite out quite a bit here. Now we're utilizing bad form because we do have undetectable with it. We want to go ahead and break this gen again. Just trying to keep the gens at bay before, so we can try to kind of go like kind of rubber band is what I like to call it. Um, where we kind of like check the gen, kind of go out a little bit and then kind of swing back in. You know, we kind of retract back in toward the gen um, so we can, you know, kind of defend it, give a hit, you know, switch back over, kind of do, do that again, you know, kind of stay within the range of it. And what, when, and what that does is that you'll get a moment like this where Ace is like kind of uh, overextends a little bit. He kind of, he kind of overstays his welcome, um, which then allows me to get yet another free hook, um, which is what we need because, boom, we can now put them over here in the middle of the gens. We can then go ahead and have somebody rotate in who's already injured. They can't really heal as quickly because of the whole 30%. Um, even though they did cleanse the totem, so that does mean that it does deactivate the 30%. Um, heal speed uh, debuff, um, which we can probably run over and apply again with that other totem over there. We were just kind of strategizing around it. So what I decided was to hit him so he gets into deep wound, waste more of his own time, let the gens to regress, and then as everybody's injured, I can then kind of kind of pick and choose um, and uh, decide to teleport over to this side of town so we can activate that for slower heal speed again. Just to really bring it on home and just to really keep the game at bay. Um, so that really helps out a lot. We also follow the scratch marks, trying to stay within uh, range here. We go back and check on the gen. We notice where they are. We want to go ahead and kick it again, or break it rather. Um, and this is what we're doing. We're just trying to keep the game at bay, trying to keep, trying to see who's going to overextend because. There's going to be a moment where somebody's going to end up kind of overstepping and they're going to end up getting down for it, which allows you to get much more of an advantage, um, which you can see with Alan here. Um, he tries to run to the corner of the map here, so I figure, well, it really doesn't matter um, if he does or doesn't, because if I'm not mistaken, he is death on death hook, which allows me to get yet another kill, um, which is also going to be very effective alongside the fact that we have are uh, two stacks of pentimento left he does die um we then have enough time to break this generator so we go ahead into bad form initially just so we can quickly kick it teleport over to that same pallet again that say this one down pallet and provided a lot of value um we then go ahead and knock them down vittorio is also um had adrenaline so the speed i would have gotten him but the speed boost kind of gave them the uh the distance he needed to be out of range um, which is a bit unfortunate. Now, what I probably could have done there, I, I didn't want to play too risky. That's why I probably um, should have gone for the Hellfire attack. But I figure it doesn't really matter. Um, we pretty much brought them down. Um, pretty much from the one gen mark, we were able to end up with a 4K. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you made it this far, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things for me. Hopefully you guys maybe have learned something from this type of gameplay. You know, where we kind of break it down a little bit. Um, which I figure there's a lot of things that are a little bit more, uh, you know, if you want to review the video, it does have like a little bit of some, um, pretty straightforward gameplay. Um, we were able to hold the game back with, um, our slowdown of Pentimento pretty much and utilizing Dracula to, um, the best of his abilities. Um, with that being said, thank you all once again. If you want to support the channel, we have links in the description for anybody either overseas or not. Um, and uh, keep an eye out for maybe streams. Um, we may play Dracula. Pyramid Head Ghostface is our main, obviously, P100. And if you want to see more Dracula, leave a comment. Um, like it. Subscribe and do all that, man. And I'll see you guys in the next one.